All right, guys, welcome back. So today we got something um, unusual uh, going on with a Humvee. And for you guys that already watched the short that I posted, uh, then you probably know, but for you guys that haven't yet, uh, so here is what's going on. The Humvee, for some reason, was just stuck on one gear. I think it was just first gear, I can't tell. I couldn't exceed 30 miles per hour without the engine uh, revving up like crazy. And I didn't know what was going on. I uh, started to make some research and obviously it could be a bunch of different reasons and um, with the transmission. So I was like, okay, I'm just gonna start from the basics and change again my transmission fluid just to make sure everything is good. Then after further research, I managed to find out that could be some other things as well. And one of them is the transmission kick down switch, which basically um, activates when you do a kick down, when you press the, the pedal all the way down to the floor and it switches into the, the next gear basically to give you more power. So I was like, okay, that sounds like it because I tried pressing it all the way to the floor and see if it would shift or kick down, but it didn't. So I figured that might be the problem because sometimes those switches stick and get old or something going on with them and they just fail. The switch is sitting somewhere down here inside. I took the cover off here, uh, the dog house here, off and I was trying to find where that uh, where that switch is and basically the switch is like sitting right here and I looked inside and I was like oh, okay now I know what's the problem because it looks like I have a pretty big nasty mice nest here which also they chewed on the wires. Looks like this wire is completely exposed, probably touched each other or something, I'm not sure. Uh, I know that that's something that I need to replace and I'm pretty sure that that's the problem. Everything was okay with a Humvee until one day I got in and drove it and it just won't shift gears. So I, I'm pretty sure this is what the problem is. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and clean it take that switch off and then replacing it or fixing it and see if it solved the problem. Let's get to it. All right, guys, so we're gonna start by taking the uh, switch off. All right. Put some more light here and you gotta bend that part here to the side so you have enough space to slide this off at least that's how I'm doing I'm not sure what's the best way to do that but Yeah, that's a little bit annoying, this part here, but I just bent those wide open. It slides right out on the side. It's been about four days since I found that issue with the uh, transmission switch. And I ordered a new one and I just got it. So 
that's a new one looks good clean no trued wires i made a lot of research and everything is very confusing it's like this kick down switch has something to do with the um, fan of the engine i'm not sure exactly um, but i'm gonna go ahead and replace that that's the first thing i noticed that the problem was with the uh, chewed cables obviously so i'm gonna go ahead and install that and take the humvee for a little uh little spin and see what happens so the hardest part for me was actually to take this wire off that sensor out so let's see how that goes can't really remember how i did that but i think that as long that it goes in there it should be okay it's definitely an annoying part yeah there you go i think that's supposed to be just like this in the middle now you can lock it in second one so what I did I just pushed it all the way down I could see the position that the other one was the old one and I just did exactly the same so should be okay if I need to adjust it I will adjust it uh, further to connect everything all right so looks good everything is connected the way it was just with a new switch that's not chewed up all right let's take it for a ride I'm gonna go ahead and uh, drive and see how it goes and hopefully that fixed the problem if not we'll see uh, what's next all right guys just wanted to show you so when I press the paddle you can see you can hear that that's engaging not sure if you can hear that click that little click but that's when it activates I know it's windy today it's hard to hear it, but there it is.
gear, so let's see. All right, guys, so um, yeah, bad news. Replacing the kick down switch um, did not fix it. So I'm a little bit lost, not sure what's next. The next component I think is inside the transmission. The kick down switch definitely needed to be replaced because it was chewed. So I could see that, but maybe the mice actually chewed more than I can see. Yeah, I'm gonna start to make more research and figure out what's the problem. But as of now, the Humvee is, it seems like, still stuck on first gear. So I can go above 30, pretty much. The engine is screaming, RPM is really high. It seems like it doesn't switch or shift gears at all. Even when I kick down, uh, the paddle doesn't switch. So you guys... Um, Leave in the comments if you have any input or feedbacks or any advice, uh, leave it in the comments so I can go ahead and uh, fix this issue. See if you have an idea of, of what's going on or if you had the same issue with your Humvee, write in the comments uh, so I have some kind of a direction. At the meantime, I'm going to make some more research and see if I can figure it out. As always, thank you so much for watching. Uh, I had a lot of hope that I would fix this situation uh, with the Humvee not shifting, but it didn't work this time. So this is going to be a part one of this video and part two probably will be fixing the problem. We got a bunch of good projects going on on the ranch and also with the Humvee. So we would love to have you subscribe, like, and we'll see you on the next one. Bye guys.